Hello everyone. In this video, I will tell you the proof of cosine of the sum of two angles using unit circle. Here, there is a unit circle having radius one. Using this unit circle, we will prove that cos alpha plus beta equals cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta this we have to prove using unit circle here there is a unit circle its center is o its radius is 1 its radius is 1 unit say this point is p its coordinate would be 1 0 now taking a point q which is making angle alpha at center its coordinates would be if i will draw perpendicular distance from here say this is x this is y using x upon this is 1 using x upon 1 x upon 1 means cos alpha that is the coordinate would be cos alpha and sin alpha now draw angle beta with terminal points with terminal point r draw an angle beta this whole angle will be alpha plus beta this whole angle will be alpha plus beta so its coordinate would be would be its coordinate would be cos alpha plus beta cos alpha plus beta sin alpha plus beta sin alpha plus beta now take a point s which makes an angle minus beta which makes an angle minus beta so its coordinates would be this point is s and this angle makes an angle minus beta so its coordinates would be cos minus beta and sin minus beta cos minus beta comma sin minus beta that is cos minus theta is cos theta only and sin minus theta is minus sin theta now joining these two points joining point p r and q s joining the point p r and q s joining the point pr and qs joining these two points and we can see that these two triangles that is p o p o r and q o s both are congruent we can see p o r and q o s both triangles are congruent hence p r would be equals to 
QS implied PR square would be equal to QS square. Now using distance formula, find out PR square. PR square would be using distance formula x2 minus x1 that is cos alpha plus beta minus one whole square plus sine alpha plus beta minus zero whole square. Using identity a minus b whole square that is cos square alpha plus beta plus one minus two cos two cos alpha plus beta plus sine square alpha plus beta now taking these two terms together and we know that sine square theta because sine square theta plus cos square theta is one so this will become one cos square cos square alpha plus beta cos square alpha plus beta plus sine square alpha plus beta plus one minus two cos alpha plus beta now this would be one one plus one minus two cos alpha plus beta that is two minus two cos alpha plus beta say this is equation number one similarly we will find out the distance q s square find out distance q s square q s square would be equal to cos alpha minus cos beta cos alpha minus cos beta whole square plus sin alpha minus 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 will become plus minus plus sin beta whole square this is cos alpha minus cos beta whole square plus sin alpha or minus minus plus sin beta whole square using the identity a minus b whole square it would be cos square alpha plus cos square beta minus 2 cos alpha cos beta plus sin square alpha plus sin square beta uh, plus 2 sin alpha sin beta taking cos square alpha plus sin square alpha together cos square alpha plus sin square alpha similarly taking cos square beta and sin square beta together cos square beta plus sin square beta and these two we will write here 2 cos alpha cos beta plus 2 sin alpha sin beta this will again become 1 1 1 so we will get we will get QS square equals 1 plus 1 minus 2 cos alpha minus 2 cos alpha cos beta plus 2 sin alpha sin beta that is 2 minus 2 cos alpha cos beta plus 2 sin alpha sin beta
this is equation number 2 from 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 we will get from equation 1 and 2 we get 1 is from equation 1 and 2 we will get we will keep only the two equations one and two we will get we will get over here uh, we will write the value that is equation 1 is 2 minus 2 cos alpha plus beta 2 minus 2 cos alpha plus beta equals 2 minus 2 cos alpha cos beta plus 2 sin alpha sin beta Solving this, 2 will cancel out. Minus 2 cos alpha plus beta equals minus 2 cos alpha cos beta plus 2 sin alpha sin beta. Dividing both sides by minus 2, it will become cos alpha. It will become cos alpha plus beta equals cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta so this is the proof of cosine of sum of two angles that is cos alpha plus beta is cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta using this we can find out cos alpha minus beta how can we find out let's see we can find out the value of cos alpha minus beta. How can we find out? With the help of this only, we can find out the value of cos alpha minus beta and sin alpha plus beta, sin alpha minus beta. We can find out the value of all these. Let's see how. We will see how to find out the value of cos alpha minus beta sin alpha plus beta sin alpha minus beta using the result cos alpha plus beta over here let's see how to do it now using this we will take with the help of this, we can find out the value of cos alpha minus. Now replacing, say this is equation A. This is equation A. In equation A, in equation, in equation A, replacing beta by minus beta we will get cos alpha minus beta substituting minus beta in place of plus beta it would be cos alpha cos minus beta minus sin alpha sin minus beta that is cos alpha minus beta equals and we know that cos of minus theta is cos theta only and sine minus theta is minus sine theta. This using this concept. It would be cos alpha and cos minus beta would be cos beta only and minus sine alpha 
and sine minus beta would be minus sine beta. That is cos alpha, cos beta, and minus minus plus sine alpha, sine beta. So this is the formula for cos alpha minus beta. Cos alpha, cos beta plus sine alpha, sine beta. Similarly, we can find out the formula for uh, sine alpha plus beta using the concept cos a plus b. Using the formula of cos a plus b, you will find out the formula for sine alpha plus beta. For this, what you will do, we will see. Let's see what can we do. Here we have. Uh, we can write it as. Let's see sine alpha plus beta. Because we can write sine theta equals. Sine theta equals. Cos pi by 2 minus theta. We know this using this concept. So this is theta. Sine theta equals cos pi by 2 minus theta that is alpha plus beta. Now we can write it like this. Now rearranging pi by 2 minus alpha minus beta. Now this is A and this is B. Using the formula of cos A alpha my A minus B, which we have discussed above. It will be cos pi by 2 minus alpha cos A cos B. This is B plus sine A sine B using the formula of cos A minus B. This is cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Sine A sine B that is beta. Now we know that cos 90 minus theta is sine theta that is cos 5 by 2 minus alpha will be sine alpha cos beta and sine pi by 2 minus alpha will be cos alpha sine beta. So here we can see the value of sine alpha plus beta equals sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. And with the help of this again we can find out the value of sine alpha minus alpha minus beta replacing beta by minus beta replacing beta by minus beta we can find out the value of sine alpha minus beta let's see how we can do it In this equation, in this equation, replacing uh, replacing beta by minus beta, you will get sine alpha minus beta equals sine alpha cos minus beta plus cos alpha sine minus beta that is sine alpha and cos minus theta is simply cos theta that is cos beta cos alpha and sine minus theta is minus sine theta that is minus sine beta it will be sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta 
this is the formula for sine alpha minus beta that's all in this video thank you so much